We believe that the benefits of the tools we have deployed so far vastly outweigh the risks, but ensuring their safety is vital to our work. GPC-4, as we all know, is taking the tech world by storm. During a recent interview, Sam Altman mentioned GPT-5, and everyone is curious to know its capabilities and when it will be released. Interestingly, he rejected some comments about GPT-5. Without further waiting, let us take a deep dive into GPT-5. Users have been looking forward to the release of GPT-5, even though it's just been slightly more than two months since the launch of GPT-4. GPT-4's abilities and strengths have already been demonstrated in a number of tests and qualitative assessments. It has gotten even better with the addition of numerous additional features like ChatGPT plugins and internet browsing functionality. Users are now anxiously awaiting information regarding the future OpenAI model, GPT-5, the potential for AI, and other topics. Sam Altman stated that while OpenAI is considering fresh concepts for GPT-5 that they believe are necessary, they have not yet reached the stage where they can begin actual work on GPT-5. Altman made explicit reference to safety audits, he was unable to or would not provide a timeline for GPT-5. It was anticipated that OpenAI would deliver its following generation model by December 2023 after GPT-4 was published in March 2023. Runway CEO Siki Chen tweeted that GPT-5 is scheduled to complete training this December. However, when asked if OpenAI is training GPT-5 at an MIT event in April, CEO Sam Altman responded, we are not and won't for some time. During his talk with Congress, when asked a question, will you be developing anything for the next six months? He responded that he would not be developing anything for the next six months. The rumor that GPT-5 would be released by the end of 2023 has thus been dispelled. However, according to analysts, OpenAI may deliver GPT-4.5 by October 2023, which would be a version that sits between GPT-4 and GPT-5. According to rumors, GPT-4.5 will finally include multimodal functionality or the capacity to evaluate both words and images. The multimodal capabilities of GPT-4 have already been disclosed and shown by OpenAI during the GPT-4 developer webcast in March 2023. Microsoft has since made GPT-4's multimodality feature available in Bing Chat. It appears that the next significant upgrade for GPT-4 will arrive very shortly. In addition, before beginning work on GPT-5, OpenAI has a lot of issues with the GPT-4 model that need to be resolved. Currently, GPT-4 has a very long inference time and is fairly expensive to run. Access to the GPT-4 API is still challenging. Additionally, ChatGPT plugins and Code Interpreter, currently in beta, were recently made accessible by OpenAI. Although GPT-4 is more than capable, OpenAI must understand that compute efficiency is one of the essential components for running a model sustainability. A larger infrastructure is required to maintain a reliable operation of all checkpoints when new features and capabilities are added to the mix. So if we assume government organizations don't throw a regulatory hurdle in the way, GPT-5 is probably going to be released around 2024, right around the launch of Google Gemini. Sam Altman blogged on AGI and how it could help all of humanity in February 2023. The next generation of AI systems, known as AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, is generally more intelligent than humans. The claim that OpenAI's next model, GPT-5, will achieve AGI appears to have some basis in reality. Recently during his interview, Sam Altman surprisingly rejected some comments on GPT-5. This raised concerns among AI enthusiasts about the future of AI and GPT-5. Will GPT-5 have more intelligence than a human? It is something we must wait and see in the coming days ahead. We can predictably say this much compute, this big of a compute network. This training data, this will be the capabilities of the model. Now, we can predict how to score on some big tests. We're really interested in it. Can we predict the qualitative things, the new sort of things that didn't exist at all in the GPT-4 that do exist in future versions like GPT-5? That seems important to figure out. But right now, we can say, you know, here's how it'll do if you evaluate this metric. This is something fascinating since we know the test results of GPT-4 and 3. It is possible that we can predict the capabilities of future models. Let me show you the benchmark results of GPT-4 and GPT-3.5. Here, in an MMLU test, GPT-3.5 scored 70%, whereas GPT-4 scored 86.4%, and in Hellswag, GPT-3.5 scored 85.5%, whereas GPT-4 scored 95.3%. This is a huge difference, and imagine the revolution GPT-5 can make. In late March, thousands of AI experts, including Elon Musk and Steve Wozniak, signed an open letter calling for a six-month pause in the development of these AI systems. The goal? To develop and implement a set of shared safety protocols 
to reflect on necessary regulations and to establish safeguards before allowing AI labs to continue in an uncontrollable race. The question remains, will GPT-5 achieve artificial general intelligence? Altman says that we believe we have to continuously learn and adapt by deploying less powerful versions of the technology in order to minimize one shot to get it right scenarios, while also acknowledging massive risks in navigating vastly powerful systems like AGI. Before the recent Senate hearing, Sam Allman also urged US lawmakers for regulations around newer AI systems. In the hearing, Allman said, I think if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong, and we want to be vocal about that. Further, he added, we want to work with the government to prevent that from happening. Instead of open source models or AI models created by small firms, Allman wants safety regulations around extremely potent AI systems. GPT-5 will be a cutting-edge model that will push the limits of what is achievable with AI. It appears likely that GPT-5 will introduce some kind of AGI, and if that turns out to be the case, OpenAI will need to prepare for strict regulations and potential bans everywhere. A safe guess for GPT-5's launch date would be sometime in 2024. At an event organized by the Economic Times in New Delhi, Altman said, We have a lot of work to do before GPT-5. It takes a lot of time. We are nowhere close to it. We're working on the new ideas that we think we need for it, but we're nowhere close to the start. There need to be more safety audits. I wish I could tell you about the timeline of the next GPT. In other words, GPT-4 is a significant deal to OpenAI. The language model might develop into an ecosystem with potential economic and societal effects. OpenAI has little motive to hasten the launch of GPT-5 because no technical, economic, or regulatory foundation has yet to be established. Furthermore, at least in Europe, OpenAI has not yet addressed serious privacy concerns about GPT-4. To comply with the GDPR, OpenAI has until the end of April, according to the Italian privacy authority, Durante. GPT-5 may have an interactive video-based interface. Despite being marketed as a multimodal AI model, GPT-4 only works with two types of data, images and text. It's true that the feature hasn't yet been incorporated into GPT-4, but OpenAI may release it in a few months. However, OpenAI might make a significant step towards being truly multimodal with GPT-5. Recently, Meta launched ImageBind, an AI model that is open source for study and combines data from six different modalities. Although OpenAI hasn't made many announcements in this area, the business does have some excellent foundation models for picture production and vision analysis. Additionally, Clip, contrasting language image pre-training for image analysis, and DALI, a well-liked mid-journey replacement that can create images from word descriptions, were both developed by OpenAI. It may be used to design and produce immersive content for virtual reality, claims Meta. We need to wait and watch what OpenAI does in this area and whether the introduction to GPT-5 will lead to further AI applications across multiple modalities. What do you think of GPT-5? Let us know in the comments section below. Like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notifications to get the latest updates. See you soon!